Pastor David here, I got another video for you today, guys. Once again, I want to show you the way a person thinks who's a fighter versus the way a person thinks who's a self-defense specialist or a self-defense practitioner, okay? For those of you who don't know me, my name is Professor Dave. They call me Professor Dave. I am a self-defense specialist. Hey, pay attention. I'm trying to teach you something. To another level. I am a self-defense specialist. I specialize in reality-based street self-defense, not fighting, not boxing, not wrestling, not grappling, reality-based street self-defense, personal protection. I specialize in that. Now I want you to see this video and in the words out of his own mouth, he uses the phrase, now you are ready to fight. This is a very popular style of martial arts. Are they good? They're very good. Is what he's showing wrong? No, it's not wrong. It is an excellent way. He breaks it down. He explains. No fantasy. You're not going to be able to go and do no flashy technique. He says, that's not going to work for you. You got to keep it real. But he's still coming from a fighter's mindset. So watch the video. The problem in self-defense is people say, okay, I'm now sitting. I want to create something more looking cool because I'm sitting. Am I? I want to create a nice move because now I'm sitting. So let's look, let's make it more fancy. Absolutely, it's the opposite. It's the opposite. Because you're sitting and he's standing, check this. He's already much more stronger for me with the knife. I want definitely to make my play harder and keep the principle the same. It's meaning I get step, yeah, continue, shift. I'm moving in, yeah, and now I'm starting my... Uh, now I'm starting my damage. Now I'm starting to fight. You heard him say, now you're ready to fight. When he was at this point, and he's like this, his hands were like this. His hands were like this. The guy was there confronting him. He's making eye contact. Then, when the guy motioned with the knife, he motioned where he came in, locked the arm, said from here, you got him, you can headbutt, headbutt, headbutt. Then he repositioned the hand, brought his free hand out, freed up one hand, and then said, now, boom, boom, you can fight. Now you're ready to fight. And if you notice, he drove the man back when he came up with his shoulder to try to get unbalance him and then when he got him unbalanced him then he switched the arm around and then he bam came and struck him in the head is that wrong no it's not wrong it works okay it's a good technique is it a great technique no it's a good technique and i know some of you go oh god okay, well, what the hell are you gonna do hey be patient i'm gonna show you the difference. He said it. Now you're ready to fight. Can't do flash. Here's the difference in how I think. And a self-defense specialist will teach you to think. It's concepts and principles. Leg cross. Hands up. I'm engaging the guy. This guy came up to him with a blade in his hand. I made a video called Go First. If you haven't seen it, go look at it. Once you control the focus, shock him in the groin. His hands have to go to the groin with the knife. He's never gonna stab. He's never gonna get hit in the groin and then stab. It doesn't work that way. He don't know what's coming. It's an instinctive reaction. Every time you got hit in the groin, unconditionally, and without you thinking about it, your hands went to your groin. You get hit in your shit. Your hand dropped down to your shit. You don't think about it. You get poked in your eye. Your hand, both hands, go up to your eye. So when he was like this and the guy came, he was close. And the guy came like this, right above him, like this. He looked at him. You going to tell me that some guy is going to walk up to me in the subway or on a bench somewhere? Got a blade in his hand, and I'm sitting here, and I'm seeing that blade, and my hands are like this. 
I'm striking from the closest point. Do we not have that in the book? Yes, do we do. not have that in our system? Yes, do. So the closest point is the groin. Now, striking from the closest point, the face. I then get up on balance the way he did, and now I break the man down. Now I stomp him out, done. You don't believe me? Try it in your dojo. Try it. Which way feels better and which way is quicker? One goes off of the motion. The other goes before the motion. So, which one makes more sense? All right, listen, I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to wait for this. I want to go before this motion happens. And I believe you do too. And very simple. Here's another thing you could have done. And Kenny don't know. Yo, you keep that, keep that there. Right? Because we didn't rehearse this. Here's another thing that Kenny don't know. So now, what if I would have said to you, yo, listen, man, please, I got a couple of dollars. Please put the knife down. You see what I just did? I repositioned myself. Do you know why I repositioned myself? Not to try to attack the hand. Mm -hmm. I repositioned myself from this and looked him in the face. Hey, yo, 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 guy, I got a couple of dollars. You know why? Because I'm going to do that. Right? And when I do that, there's nothing you're going to do. The hell are you going to do? What are you going to do? If you let me reposition myself like this, my back is leverage. So now, you could try to stab. Look, I'm talking to you. I'm telling you. I'm giving you my money. So you're not thinking about stabbing me. You tell him you're going to threaten me. You're listening to me. You want to put the fail guard into me. So you're not thinking what I said. Listen, oh my God, oh my God, I'll give you whatever I have. I'll give you whatever I have. What? And I'm going to get up after I do that. Does this not make more sense than for me to wait and test your skill when you strike for me to do this and then come on to here and do this? Come on, guys. What are we talking about? I, I talked about this technique over and over. Does it work? Yeah, but you got to get here. And unless you got a lot of confidence and a lot of skill, not only did he do this, but he transferred the hand over to free up his other hand. So he had two dead hands. I don't ever want, I don't ever want two dead hands. Hands. I don't ever want two dead hands. Ever. Now, change weapons, Kenny. We're using this foam knife for a reason. Once again, I'm here. He's here. Kenny, just stab me in my chest like quickly, machine gun. Machine like, okay? Right? That's what the man was intended to do. Yes. That's what he showed, right? So now, because we have a principle called motion causes motion. So Kenny, if I move, are you not going to try to stand me? Yes. So let's yes. say I try to just stand up, mm -hmm. right? And you're going to stand me. Mm -hmm. I did this, right? Mm -hmm. See, I'm just going to stand up, and Kenny's going to take the front, take the knife, and put it right into my put it right into my gut. But if I look at him. And I do the same thing. I did this. Now, they say this in there, Kenny. Look where the knife is. All I did was shift in my body. Now, the knife hand is here. The arm is somewhere here. So I don't have to deal with this little knife. I'm dealing with the arm. So now, I'm going to use my arm and push his arm. And now, I got two hands on his arm, break the foot, attack to the face. My hand bumps. I don't hold this. I don't, Kenny, I don't, I don't lock, I don't lock my arms up on his arm. I don't need to. All I do is push, control, attack, attack, attack. I call push, control, attack. You see it in other videos that I made. And my hand movement is not foreign, Kenny. Mm -hmm. We have a thing on these, you've seen the videos called the five 
angles of attack. So this was angle number one, angle number two, angle number three, angle number four, angle number five. When the man had the blade, what I did was, with my hand, I hit him in the groin, angle number four, I bounced up to an angle number two. Now, can you give me the knife, please? No, you take the knife. I'm gonna use the phone. So let's say I seen this guy coming. I seen you coming. Let's say I'm like this, okay? He don't see that I see you coming. I got a blade, you threatening me, right? Right here, boom, whoa. Did you see what I just did? So now I did the same thing with my knife. I sliced him in the groin and I bounced up across his face. I did a number four and a number two. But you see, the motion, the motion, the motion is the same. Woof. You understand? Guys, self-defense versus fighting. Two different ways of thinking. Reality-based street self-defense. You see, the reason why these guys keep making these videos and showing you fighting moves and calling it self-defense is the same reason why you go to a traditional karate school for years and years and years. When I was a little, little kid, every karate school said, karate, self-defense. And you know, and I know, in today's society, in today's day and age, in today's time, you cannot this, 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 this. You cannot use traditional karate in today's world for street self-defense. You can't. And anybody's telling me that they can, you got to be at a very high level. Okay? Because you spend six months in a horse stands doing kata. And the reason why I say this, I have a black belt in goju, karate. So I earned the right to say this. I got caught in an elevator. I made an elevator video. And I told you, I trained every single day. I was one of the better students in the school. I worked harder than everybody else except the black belts, the high-ranking black belts. When I was in that elevator, there was no down block, middle block, reverse punch. There was no front kick, side kick, roundhouse kick. It was a little elevator. My traditional karate did not work. And that's my experience. Maybe you're better than me. That's my experience. And when I told, and when I told my instructor, my traditional karate instructor, he told me, oh, that was a close quarter situation. That's jujitsu. That's Aiki. And I said, well, what's that? I said, I wanted to learn self-defense. I said, I thought I was learning self-defense. He said, no, 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 no. You want that, you got to go see the old man. And he was nice enough and honest enough to tell me about Professor V. That's how that started. And I went to see the old man who was called Professor V at the time, they used to just call him the old man, Professor Flavendo Visitation. You see guys, understand something. Self-defense is different. The way they think is different. So that's all we're trying to do is to get you to clearly understand that once and for all. You got a university, got a ton of stuff in there, more just like this. Guys, go check it out. Kenny, tell us. Guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, guys. Thank you very much. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. To another level.